What a delightful morning it was, filled with the promise of a new day awaiting. I relish those early moments before the hustle and bustle of school begins, where I can indulge in the simple pleasures that bring me joy. From the refreshing ritual of washing my face to meticulously brushing my teeth, each task is performed with a sense of purpose and anticipation. And of course, no morning is complete without preparing my favorite breakfast sandwich, a ritual that sets the tone for the day ahead. But my morning routine isn't just for me. It's also an opportunity to show kindness to my dear friend Catnap, whom I never forget to make a sandwich for. After experiencing the magic of yet another sunrise, there's nothing quite like the exhilarating bike ride from my home to Cotnip's residence. However, it's not always a smooth journey, as Cotnip has a penchant for deep slumber that often tests my patience. Despite my initial frustration, I've come to accept it as part of our routine, knowing that my persistent efforts are crucial in ensuring he doesn't miss the start of the day. Thus, I sometimes find myself venturing into his home to rouse him from his peaceful slumber, an act of friendship that I perform without hesitation. After all, what are friends for if not to ensure we all make it to school on time? Huh? It's nice to see you here, Catnap. <gasps> sorry. Sorry for hurting you. <laughs> it's okay, Catnap. It's all over. I know you didn't mean to. But the most important thing is... We're still friends. Thanks you, Dog Day. As you said. Best friends forever. Hey, Dog Day, are you sleeping? He looks so cute when he sleeps. I want to touch him. Huh? Catnap, I had such a nice dream. What? What are you doing, Catnap? Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. He will never want to see me again. What? Is he waiting for me again in the same place? Drive faster, Kissy! Mommy is coming! Turn back Turn to back your to home, home and clean, clean the mess, mess now! now. Come here, baby! Has a drawing commission about catnap and dog day. Happy. He wonder who have asked Crafty Corn for this type of drawing. Happy Valentine's Day, catnap. Thank you, dog day. I hope you like the valentine I made for you. I made a valentine for you, too. Here! Happy Valentine's Day, Dog Day! Huh? Is everything alright, Dog Day? Ha! Catnap, Dog Day! Where are you two? I lose! You two come out here! Hey guys, I have a question. What if the two of them were arrested? Overthinking. Huh? huh? What the? Shh. I heard small noise. Ah! Dog day? Dog day? Catnap? Dog day, dog day! Oh. Catnap, I'm sorry, but you're so cute. Shut up, dog day. Hey, that not funny, Catnap. Oh, that is very cute to seeing this. Wow. Uh, I don't know when you guys were here. Hey, kitty! Huh? Oh, catnap, can we do it again? No, shut up! Yeah. Catnap, why? I'm sorry. Wanna play? Damn it, catnap, I am at work. Stop sending me this! <laughs> um. 
<laughs> hey, when I can get up? You've said this ten times already. Don't you get it? I love you, I always have, so please, just this once. Stay. Uh, stay. Hey, my friend over there thinks you're cute. <laughs> oh, dog day, you can't take toys to bed with you. Okay, you win. Oh, a bedtime story. Bubba, that's a great idea, but I can only read you one. Nurse Bobby, say goodnight to Miss Delight. Piggy Piggy, it's bedtime. Ah, is this for me? Thank you, my sweet. You can't sleep here, Crafty Corn. You'll catch a cold. Is that me in the painting? You draw so well, my dear. Poppy Hopscotch, kickin' chicken, get back here, right now! Good night, my little guys. Okay then, dare for dog day. I dare you kiss Catnap. Question for Catnap, who was the kiss? Dare, huh? I enjoyed that. Finally getting the questions right, huh? Curious. Imqui. Didn't you choose the question? Why so scared all of a sudden? D doggy, calm down! Ah! Do you really have to go to work today? Of course I do. The kids needs me. But I need you too. Stop being silly. You are like almost 21. I will be back sooner. I promise. Catnap, put me down! This is my far thing in the world. Now damn it! This is so embarrassing! And it talks. Those two are really close friends. Don't you know that catnap is when dog day disappears? Shut up! Anyway, I'm collecting vanilla flowers. Later. Oh, oh shit. This juice is banging, yo. It's pain! Ow. Catnap, what what's going on? Why am I on a leash? What? No, I thought. I thought we were friends. Please don't touch me. <laughs> no, let me go, please. <laughs> I'll never be the same. Sometimes those closest to you hurt the most. Oh, Catnap, I'm so pleased. Thank you for your gift. Such beautiful flowers. Huh? What is happening there? Catnap! This is my second gift for you, Dog Day. <laughs> Rest assured, guys, Catnap won't hurt anyone. He is very gentle. You are a bastard. You are my son, and I will be your moon. We will be together in every universe. After all these terrible things. Oh. oh. Together, we embark on the familiar route to school, sharing laughs and conversation along the way. Despite the occasional tardiness, our bond remains unshaken, a testament to the strength of our friendship. While I have many acquaintances at school, Cotnep holds a special place in my heart as my closest confidant and ally. Even on dreary, rain-soaked days, Catnap's unwavering friendship shines brightly, a beacon of support and companionship. His willingness to brave the elements alongside me, offering to share his umbrella as we navigate the stormy weather together, speaks volumes about the depth of our bond. In his presence, even the darkest clouds seem to part, replaced by the warmth of camaraderie and the assurance that, come rain or shine, we will always have each other's backs. <laughs>